Hey guys, what are these five traits women look for in high value men? Okay, let's get into it right now. Welcome to Just the Tip Tuesday. One of the things that women look for in high value men is openness and honesty. But here's the key. It's especially appreciated if it's something that is difficult to share with her. For example, if it's something you know she doesn't like or won't like, or maybe you've done something wrong, and especially if it's something that you could keep to yourself and she might never find out. So if you share these kinds of things with her, she's going to trust you. Okay, <laughs> number two, honorable. A man who's honorable does the right thing at the right time, even if no one finds out. So honorable versus dishonorable. I think that's pretty straightforward. So choosing the honor of your woman over some other woman is always gonna earn you higher value points in any woman's eyes. Because a woman knows if a man will disrespect you in front of you, he's for sure gonna disrespect you behind your back. That does not build trust. All right, number three abundance mentality. What does abundance mentality mean? Well, it's probably best described in a short story. John is a top salesperson and John shares his valued success stories and secrets with his associates. Why? Because John does not feel threatened by anybody else's success. He knows the pie is big enough for all and he knows that there's always going to be something that he has as an edge to stay at the top of his game and have enough. Scarcity is not an attractive trait. Scarcity is actually a sign of fear, fear that you can't do well enough. Now, of course, we all feel that way at some point or another, but these are traits that you wanna to work toward, of course. So if you can develop an abundance mentality, then that's gonna be really attractive to women. And especially if you can develop an abundance mentality about knowing there's always going to be a high value woman who's going to be attracted to you because if you know that about yourself, you're gonna automatically project that to those around you, maybe the girl you like, and she is going to mirror that perception of you. She's going to agree that you have high value and that if she doesn't want you, she's gonna take the chance, take the risk that some other high value woman is going to get you because you have an abundance mentality. And along those lines is number four, integrity and principles. Now, not all women necessarily value this, but all high value women do value integrity and principles. A principled man is a man you can trust and count on to stand firm to his belief system. So an example of doing something like this or being in your integrity and principle is to stand up for somebody who's being trash talked behind their back even if you agree with the trash talking, but you principally believe that they shouldn't be trash talked behind their back, that if someone has an issue with that person, they should talk to them directly and not just trash talk them behind their back, you speak up and say something like that, that shows integrity and principles. So number five, this is the sexy one, or the sexist one potentially, is a man who claims his woman. Yes, claims her as his, his. Now, possession, it can have a bad rap because you don't want to be needy, clingy, or dominating because of insecurity. You want to claim her because you are proud to be with her. So when you claim your woman because you are proud that she's your woman versus claiming her because you want everybody else to know she's off the market and they can't have her, that shows the difference between having high value for yourself and having high value for your woman versus having low value for yourself and therefore needing to let other men know that they can't have her.